Well, hello, and thanks for tuning in. My name's Marcus, you're watching Retro Game Players, and today we're playing Frogger on the Atari 2600. So this is a pretty old school game, and you know, this is one of the first video games, as far as a home console go, that I've ever played. I remember playing this when I was in freaking daycare, and uh, you know, my daycare provider had an Atari 2600, had games like Pitfall, Pac-Man, Defender, uh, Frogger, among others, you know. And so it was one of the coolest places to go after school. Um, and uh, school, when I say school, I mean like kindergarten, okay? Wasn't in, wasn't in daycare, all right, in high school or something, okay? But anyway, it was, uh, it was a good time. And I also remember, I will say this, I remember in sixth grade, we had an Atari 2600 set up in the classroom, so if it was raining outside, we had indoor recess, we would have that uh, option to be able to play freaking Atari, which was pretty awesome. Uh, even though at that point, I think Sega Genesis and uh, Super Nintendo might have just been coming out, but anyway, it was cool to have the Atari 2600 in the classroom. So, this game's extremely classic. It is definitely not, um, I'd say, as good as the arcade game, but it is, it is pretty cool. And generally, the rules, since I happen to have the manual for this thing, um, you know, the rules, you get one point for successfully jumping the frogger forward. I like that. You get one point. So you gotta avoid cars, you know. Um, you get five points if you get the frogger home, and that's one of those boxes up there. So you've got five boxes. You gotta get that little bastard frog over there. And then if you get five of those frogs home, you get a hundred points. That's pretty much looks like the highest you can score. Uh, taking a lady frog home, huh? That's 20 points. So you'll see them pop up on the logs, and you want to grab them if you can. And then eating a fly, that's 20 points too. And then you get extra points for time left, and that that depends. Uh, per remaining second, you get two points. So, and then every time you score a thousand points and have fewer than four frogs left, you get another frogger. All right. So when that happens, you'll see another white square on the lower left left hand corner of the screen. So, uh, let's go ahead and play. Let's check this out. Oh, you gotta like that, right? You gotta like the, the tune. I bet you guys are gonna download that and put it on your iPods and go work out to it. All right, so here we go. I'm running for it. You gotta remember, oh, I got a lady frog right off the bat. Right off the bat. Okay, not bad. Oh, am I going to be able to get another one? Yes, sir. One thing is, you don't want to get too cocky on this. Don't want to get too cocky. And and also, I will point out that I'm playing with the Atari... No, not the Atari. The Sega Genesis controller. Uh, because precision is everything in Atari games. And that's just the way I roll. So, the joystick's cool. I just, I don't know. Oh, did you see that? I was on the pad with the lady frog and I didn't even realize it. Story of my life. All right, what the? I jumped off the freaking log? Are you kidding me? Okay. Did I? Okay. All right. Things are looking good. Oh, there she is. She's down there. All right, I'm going to try and do the end one. Oh! Sometimes it's just doesn't want to go. Oh man, my foot hit the tailpipe. Not good. Oh, and this Atari is. Oh, I got it. This Atari is uh, the one that I modded in my Atari 2600 mod video, my S video mod. So, oh, I can't believe I missed that either. Oh, my God. Uh, so that's why the graphics look a little bit extra crisp. So no, this is not an emulator. This is um, just running S-Video. And you know, you can see it's got a little bit of interference, but you know, this thing's old. So it's cleaned up as best as I can get it. Oh, I, I hit up at the wrong time. Okay, this is gonna be tough. Yes, I got through level one. And I only have one little frog left. That's what that block means on the bottom left. 
All right, here we go. It, it's it's been stepped up. The difficulties harder, and I'll tell you what, this game freaking gets tough. This is one of those games where, like, for example, you see those lily pads. They actually, uh, oh, I'm on the alligator. Oh, that was kind of sketchy. I oh damn it. Oh, I've got one more frog. I got one more frog. Oh man. I'm nervous now. I'm nervous. Okay, I made it to the median. Oh, I want the lady frog. Oh, I got her. Nice. Okay. I'm taking this frog home. Oh! Oh! 439. All right. I'm going to beat that score. Oh, man. Kind of sucks. You got to start over. All right. So that was my warm-up game. This is going to be the real deal now. And I'm not sure if the lily pads actually disappear on this first level. It kind of doesn't seem like seem like they do but oh maybe it actually did just look like it just appeared out of nowhere right there oh when you go between cars like that it's it's a little too tight sometimes oh see those blue ones they did disappear oh see I don't want to like I don't even want to get on the blue ones if I was getting extra points or something all right, got the lady frog. The lady frog is ready to go home. And yes. Yes. Oh, there she is. She's out in the evening working the streets again, I guess. Or the logs, working the logs. The swamp. Oh, she was right there. She's trolling me. Oh, I got it. Okay, one more. Oh. Oh, God. I was trying to get the lady, but I blew it. Yeah. All right. Level two without losing any guys that time. I don't remember what my score was. It was four something. So, see if I can get higher. I'm sure I will now, right? I'm going to go and do the end. This is the end. My beautiful friend, the end. Okay. Can I get the lady frog? Yeah! Uh, I did it. Alright, I'm gonna do the next box here. Yes! Alright, I'm pretty sure I beat my last score. So let's see if I can keep it running. I have to say that I think this is one of the best Atari 2600 games too, as far as graphics and gameplay. It's one of the most addicting ones that, that is out there. Oh man, I don't I don't know if I want to get on the alligator. Oh, oh god. No! Oh! I think it what happened? Did it go under or is it because I moved? Oh. oh god damn it, no! Oh come on. Oh god. No! Lady Frog. Oh, oh, yes. Okay, two left. Two left. And you'll see, too, it, it's kind of weird. I should have pointed it out, but in one of those little homes, sometimes the alligator head shows up there just for fun, you know, just for fun. So you think that you're safe, but no, you're not. See him right there in the upper left? Oh. All right, one more. One more. Yeah. 
Yes. Yes. Uh, oh god, I gotta wait. I gotta wait. Victory is mine, though, I assure you. Uh, uh, yeah! 685. Oh, alright. Things are, things are heating up on the freeway. Must be getting close to rush hour. Man. Oh, the, the pink ones. They look like bulldozers. Oh, God. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, what was that? I don't understand. What did I do wrong? What did I do wrong? Was that the timer? Is there a countdown? I don't really know what's happening. Maybe I missed. Oh, shit. Oh! Oh! I don't even think that should have happened. That, that didn't even look natural. Oh, damn it. I got one more guy. Oh, man. Level three. This one's a pain. Oh! 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 Whew. Deep breath. Okay. Oh. Oh. Oh, what do you mean? Oh. All right, 754. That's going to be my high score. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching this, you guys. I just wanted to play Atari 2600 so badly that I could taste it. And Frogger is just the first thing that popped into mind. So if you're feeling retro, go play this game for God's sakes. It's amazing. And uh, anyway, thanks so much for watching, and until next time, keep it retro, and this time I can really honestly say, keep it retro if you're playing a 2600, because that's what we're f***ing doing. Alright, later on.